Igniting a Renaissance of New Ideas. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 98. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 98, January 16th, 2015 edition. It's a new year and we are igniting a renaissance of new ideas. As always, in this update, I will be sharing with pictures and video all of our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, uh, links to all of the open source content, tools, tutorials, resources, everything that we're creating, you can visit our written blog. Last but not least, if you'd like to receive an update or an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, created this explanatory image for the Lesson Plans How-To Tutorial page. This image teaches people all the components of the lesson plan pages and the full page, which we'd say is now about 30% done, will show how to use the lesson plans by providing several complete and detailed examples and an FAQ. Behind the scenes, we finished brainstorming the design of the red and orange sections of the upcoming technology and innovation molecule, and also behind the scenes, we finished 30% of the design work for the written lesson plan with the central theme of human body. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Food researched and added two resources sections to the open source carrots hub. We also researched and added two resources sections to the open source coal crops hub. Behind the scenes, Benjamin Sessions researched images and costs for the temporary kitchen will be open sourcing as part of the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan and upcoming crowdfunding campaign. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing began laying out the specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture assembly details. You can see a behind the scenes image of this here. Behind the scenes, we also finished the final 30% of the video production outline for all the components of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. Then we complete a website edition of the total video outline specifics for the Earthbag 200 square foot dome and loft construction that you can see here. And we create the same details for the Aircrete 200 square foot dome and loft construction. Behind the scenes, we finished the final 25% of the Earth Dome window and door framing descriptions, draft A, 
And this brings us to 100% complete there, and we're now ready to begin formatting in preparation for adding this to the website. In addition to this, Scott Thomas and his Shadow Ridge Signature Architecture Program added the updated shower and toilet domes for the Earthbag Village into the complete CAD Village layout. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team created revision B of the Duplicable City Center hydronic piping diagram you can see here. James Nance, mechanical engineer and project manager, also laid out the preliminary plumbing details so we can begin our search for a CAD drafter with plumbing experience. Behind the scenes, Samuel Soroster, permaculturist and sustainable designer from Green New World, also began the redesign of our sustainable water systems and sewage systems design. What you see here is a snapshot of this work in progress. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team created new social media imagery and updated and featured our Hoop Houses open source hub sharing how to build Hoop Houses. This page got over 4,000 shares in less than seven days. We also updated and featured our cultural personal growth page, sharing how this is a core value for us in creating global transformation, and our true community page that is also a core value. We additionally completed a rebuild for our partner and consultants interest page. You can see this here where it now features a cleaner and more streamlined look and an online data entry form that replaces the need for someone to copy and paste content into an email. Behind the scenes, Irfan Saeed, the newest member of our legal team, also helped us research copyright issues related to internet image use and sharing. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is igniting a renaissance of new ideas. The way that we're doing this first and foremost is by creating self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs which consist of villages, communities, and cities that are the perfect environment for new ideas to be created, implemented, and shared. Our idea is to take the foundations of sustainability and to make them open source. To open source food, energy, housing, but also add into that education, highest good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. Open sourcing all of these is a complete model that can be built as a complete living environment and creating a global collaborative and cooperative of these hubs and organizations working together. By doing this, we want to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough that will be adopted by the mainstream and globally self-replicating because people will want the environment that it creates and because the environment will help to create additional versions of that environment too. This is the renaissance of new ideas and it's built on this foundation of teacher demonstration, communities, villages, and cities working together and creating an environment where people can give, where people can contribute to the forwarding of our entire species to evolving all aspects of sustainability. And so we're starting this process with one community. And everything that we're creating, we're open source and free sharing so that others can duplicate it either as the complete model, which will be a teacher demonstration hub that will teach others how to duplicate it itself as teacher demonstration hubs, or as individual components. Every piece that we're creating could also be duplicated as an individual component and applied for completely different purposes or uses or just for individual use. 
The main idea is just to keep humanity moving forward. So to accomplish all this, to ignite this renaissance of new ideas, we're bringing together, bringing together the people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, those people that are thinking and creating with the entire human population in mind, as well as all living things on this planet, and thinking how can we create and build in a way that is not only positive, but regenerative. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this is something that you'd like to be a part of, if it seems like a worthwhile adventure, we've got tens of thousands of hours of work into the project already, four years into the creative process. We have developed an immense, as you can see from our website, as you can see from these videos, we've developed an immense archive of information and infrastructure and details already put together, and we're bringing together the team of people that will move onto the property and build everything that we're talking about, as well as the team that's working behind the scenes of consultants and partners helping us out by volunteering time with our all-volunteer team. So if you'd like to get involved, this is the invitation. We've got lots of ways to participate, everything covering everything from the pioneer team that I just mentioned, consultants and partners, to just participating on the internet. We're on all of the different social media networks and sharing our content just sharing our content is a massive benefit to our project. And so if you'd like to learn more about that, visit our helping page. Uh, also, everybody always asks us, like, what is the number one thing that would take for one community to go to the next level? And really, the number one thing is we're really looking for that individual investor or donor to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, or could be a small group, that will help us get the property off the market. We have been working with the same property for four years, over four years now but the property is still on the market. And so while we've designed our entire business plan, our entire business model, this whole concept of evolving sustainability, of combining physical sustainability with emotional sustainability, and then bringing those two components together in a teacher demonstration hub that people can visit and experience, and then open source and free sharing all the components so that they can duplicate that, this whole model is built on a specific location that is designed to share everything that we're doing with tens of thousands of people annually. Our whole model is meant to invite the world to participate. And so people ask, what's the number one thing that you can do to help? It's to help us get that property off the market so we can share the location, so that we can disclose that location, so that we can take everything that we're designed to the next level, so we can build our team, exponentially increasing the number of people that are participating in what it is that we're doing, because lots of people ask where it is that we're going to be, and until we can share the amazing location that we have, a lot of people are holding off, and I can understand why. So the other thing that people can do to help is, of course, small donations make a huge difference. We're looking to raise $6.5 million dollars. You know, and the reality of it is, is if 6.5 million people donated one dollar, and that's not many on a on a planet that has uh, seven billion people at this point, if 6.5 billion million people donated one dollar, then we would be funded, and we'd be building one community right now. So the small donations, though, make a big difference. In the meantime, $5 donations, $10 donations, we'd like to say thank you to everybody that's, that's putting that in. Those tax-deductible donations allow us to fund our infrastructure, fund our website infrastructure, keep everything running, because all of our team are unpaid volunteers. None of us are getting paid for what it is that we do, and so those small donations allow us to fund those components of one community that, that help us to keep developing the website, etc. So this is what we're up to. This is our idea of igniting a renaissance of new ideas. This is how we're doing it, combining all the different components, open source and free sharing, everything that's necessary to build teacher demonstration hubs, and looking at sustainability as not just physical sustainability, but also as emotional sustainability, and creating our resources to combine both of those things together, making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating as attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own. And that environment itself, that environment designed to spread on its own, is purpose specifically to create the, the perfect environment to cultivate new ideas, to come together to create think tanks all over the world that are working together as a global think tank to evolve all aspects of sustainability. And that's the renaissance of new ideas. That's the ignition. That's the spark meant to set it all off. And one community is meant to be the first of those teacher demonstration hubs, and this is what we're designing for. So with that, as always, I will say thank you for following our progress. We appreciate everybody's support. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.